Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and as you probably know the public beta of iOS 18 will be here really really soon. So a lot of people will be confused whether they should update to the next dev beta or they should install the public beta and what are the differences between these two betas? Well in this video we're going to talk all about that. How you can switch, whether you should do it or not, what are the differences and of course when can you expect iOS 18 public beta to be released. Now, first of all, switching from the dev beta to the public beta is very simple. As of now, we are on beta 2, and if you right now decide to actually switch to the public beta, what you should do is go ahead and go to your settings, go under general here, and then you will have the software update section. When you go here, you will have the beta updates. Now, what I would do right now is just turn off the beta updates right here. And once the public beta of iOS 18 is released, all you have to do is just go back here and you will find another section here where it says public beta. You select that and then you can just go ahead and update to the public beta. Again, the public beta should be released alongside beta 3. So you just don't install the dev beta 3, you just move on to the public beta from beta 2 to the public beta and that's the way to do it it's actually fairly simple apple of course has made it very easy for users to install dev betas and public betas with this new section here under the update section well what are the differences well there is no difference just in case you're trying to install or move to the public beta because you think there's a difference there's actually no difference the reason the public beta gets released after the dev beta is that apple will wait for a few betas to actually make sure that the update is stable enough to release it for the public to test it well even though everyone can actually just move on to the dev beta and test it anytime they want now what i think you should do here whether you should actually update or not to the public beta from the dev beta i think there is no actual reason to do that the only thing you will get here is a delay when trying to update because usually apple will release the dev beta a day before the public beta so the dev beta will most likely come out this week and then a day after we should get the public beta. That's the only thing you're basically getting here. A one day delay on updating your device, getting the new fixes and improvements and of course the new features that will be added to the new beta. So there is no reason for you to actually move to the public beta. Now if you haven't actually installed iOS 18 beta yet on your device, you can install the public beta again again but the dev beta will also be the exact same update you're just getting it a day early so when can we expect these updates to come out for your devices well if history is an indicator we should get the third beta of ios 18 tomorrow that will be july 8th then i would expect apple to also release the public beta this week maybe on the 9th here that should be the date if that doesn't happen then probably we're getting it on the 15th right here. So most likely like 90% sure the 8th will be the day of beta 3 and then a day after the public beta. If that doesn't happen, then you can expect it on the next week, which will be July 15th. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is what is happening with the betas, the dev beta, the public beta are the exact same update so there is no reason for you to wait for the public beta instead of installing the dev beta of course if you have a device that you don't have a problem with having a beta software which of course is buggy and will drain your battery a lot faster then you can just go ahead and install the dev beta so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one